A number of years ago, a high school chemistry teacher named Ron Crampton introduced me to a toy that you can use to demonstrate a lot of chemical principles, but more importantly, it's fun. It involves a battery filler bulb. You go to an auto supply store, you buy a battery filler, it comes with a stem. Find another use for that. Take a uh, cork bore, drill a hole in the side, and the key part. This is a lantern lighter. Buy these at any uh, sporting goods store, camping store, places like that. What it is, is a spark igniter that you would use to light your camp lantern, your Coleman lantern. To do what we're going to do here, I want to take the flint assembly off, loosen that screw, then I want to loosen this silver hex nut. Take off the washer. My challenge at this point is to find a use. Remember I discarded the tube from the battery filler bulb? I think I'm there with it. I have no idea what I'm going to do with this. So I'll put it over there. So here's what I have at this point. This brass hex nut, the flint assembly. I've got a hole in the side of the uh, filler bulb. I'm going to push this in here so that the threaded part, let's see, let's bring that there. You see that okay? The threaded part is coming through. I need to cut this off. Very often when you uh, drill the hole, there is a small flange there. I've got one assembled, so I'm not going to worry about cutting it off, but put the washer back on, put the silver hex nut back on, and then put this part back on. When you have that, this is what it looks like. I don't know if you can pick up the inside of this or not, but I have it so that, and let's take this apart again. I've positioned it inside so that this part is pointing relatively down. It doesn't have to be straight down. It can be off this way, that way, but you kind of don't want it sticking up. All right. So now when it's in here and I turn it, you can see I get a spark. That's where the fun part starts. No projectiles should be used in demonstrations that are harder than a ping pong ball. Something soft, something light, nothing more rigid than that. What I'm going to do is take a little bit of methyl alcohol. Quantity is by no means critical. I'm put it inside. Put the ping pong ball in. And now at this point, methanol is vaporizing. I have it plugged. I have a sparking device. And I tell students when I'm doing this, when I'm demonstrating, don't wait too long. I had a student doing it as a demonstration for grammar school students one time. He did wait too long. Remember there are two hex nuts? He wound up with both of them outside. That was exciting. So let's see what happens if I turn this. I'm going to explode the methanol vapor that's in there and expel the ball. The plenty powerful ping pong popper. <laughs>